what's up with these tutorials where I only show how to use either empty or full hearts to display the player's health, when the art we use in the tutorials actually supports fractional hearts as well. I've been asked so many times to do a tutorial on this, so finally, here it is. For those of you who are new, this tutorial will be an extension to the tutorials I made on player health and updating GUI hearts last year. However, I would think that the ideas presented in this video can also very much be useful even if you made your own health system without my tutorials. And now, let's get started! Each heart piece will correspond to one health point. So we need to multiply our max health by 4 to get the same number of total hearts. Next, we go to the script that handles the individual GUI hearts. Now, in the last tutorials, we had an update method here that took a boolean as input. This specified if the heart should be empty or full. But now we have five states for a heart. It can be empty, a quarter full, half full, three quarters full or completely full. So we need to first change the input here from being a boolean to an integer. And then we can use a match statement to set the correct frame for the sprite. If you aren't sure what frame to use for what number, then you can go to the hard GUI scene, click on the sprite, and change the frame property in this inspector menu to see what each frame corresponds to. Remember that when the input for our method is zero, the heart should be empty. When it is one, it should be a quarter full and so on. Okay, so now we should be able to set the individual hearts. Now let's go to the hearts container script and make sure that the hearts are then updated correctly. First we need to figure out how many whole hearts there should be. To find this number we can use integer division, so we can just take the player's current health and divide it by 4. This is then the number we should use as the range in the first for loop here. And then remember we changed the input for the update method for a GUI heart, so we need to change the value here from true to 4. Okay, so if the number of full hearts is equal to the number of hearts in total, we can just return now. But if this isn't the case, we now need to figure out if the next heart should be empty or have some heart fractions. We can calculate this using modulo to get the remainder. And then we can set the next heart using the remainder. And finally, we need to set the empty hearts. We can still do this with a for loop like we did here in the end. Only now, the first value in the range should be the number of full hearts plus 1, because we already manually set a heart using the remainder. And then instead of false, the input to this method should of course be 0. Now we can test and see that this hopefully all works as expected. Oh, wait, I can see that I forgot one step. We of course also need to tell our GUI that it should only display one heart per maximum health point. So let's quickly do this here in the method that sets the maximum hearts. 
Here we just need to start the method by dividing max by 4, and then everything should work correctly. I have, as always, uploaded the project files for this tutorial on Patreon for the tiers that always gets access to the project files for all my tutorials. And that was all for this video. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell and all that if you want to see more like this in the future. Bye!